A 470 nanometer blue light is shown on a single slit to produce a central maximum on a screen 0.8 meters away. If the central maximum is 30 degrees wide, what is the width of the slit? What is the width of the central maximum on the screen? The light is a 470 nanometer light, so the wavelength is 470 nanometers. The screen is 0.8 meters away, so that is the L. If the central maximum is 30 degrees wide, let's see, the, this is a single slit. That means that we have a central maximum that is twice as wide. So if I draw almost equal distances over here, the central maximum will be twice as wide, and then the next one will be like this, and then the next one. So that's the central maximum. And at the center, the m equals to 0, and then this next one will be 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. The central maximum is 30 degrees wide. That means that to the center of the screen, it is only 15 degrees wide, 30 divided by 2. And you're looking for the width of the slit, that is uh, D, you are looking for, and the width of the central maximum on the screen, that means we're looking for some sort of Y. For 15 degrees, that's the distance between the center of the screen and the M equals to 1. So if I use 15 degrees, that means I should use M equals to 1. They go together because that's from 0 to 1. So I can use the d sine theta equals to m lambda. We don't know the d. We know the angle here is 15 degrees when the m is 1. The wavelength is 470 nano, which is 10 to the negative 9th. So this will give us d, that is 1.82 times 10 to the negative 6 meters. So this is the width of the slit. This is the part answer for part A. And then we want the width of the central maximum on the screen. Because we, we measure our Y from the center of the screen, so I have to first find the half width of the central maximum. So I'm going to use M equals to 1, and then find the Y. And that will be the half width. So I know that the tan theta equals to y over l. I can use sine theta equals to y over l if the angle is small, but right now the angle is 15 degrees, which is not very small. That means that I have to use tan theta equals to y over l. So I have to use tan 15 degrees equals to y over l, which is 0.8. On the AP exam, if you use sine theta for big angle, you will lose points. So in this case, for 15 degrees, we need to make sure that we use 10 theta. So we'll find y to be 0.214 meters. But this is only the half width, so I have to multiply this by 2 to get the full width. That will be 2 times 0.214, and I'm going to get 0.43 meters, and that's the answer for part B. That's 4 over here. When I do this kind of problem, so whether it is for single slit diffraction or double slit interference, I like to draw the patterns. For double slit interference, I get patterns that are fringes that are almost equal size. So the center will be the bright one, that's 0, and then the next one will be 1, 2, 3. And the, the 1, 2, 3 will be the bright ones, the dark ones will be half, 3 half, 5 half, so on and so forth. If it is a single slit, then I know I have, again, bright for m equals to 0, but the central maximum has to be twice as wide. That means they have to fit like this. So the m equals to 0 is bright, m equals to 1.5 is bright, 2.5 is bright, m equals to 1, 2, 3 will be dark.